Well, as I said to Becky, and, and I really believe that this may be one of the more exciting times to be in our industry. About a year ago, we said, we think television is going to change more the next five years than has the last 50. And that, being about a year into that, I got to think is really happening and is totally what energizes us at Comcast. And why is that? Well, it's the cloud. Um, the cloud is a game changer. And for us, we had an aha moment when we could take most of the smarts of your cable box, our cable box, and move it to the cloud. It would allow us to have a whole new platform to innovate off of, and we call that the X1 platform. And Neil Schmidt showed this in Boston at last year's show, and I'm pleased to say by the end of this year, we will have rolled out the X1 platform nationally. What's interesting is how fast we can innovate and change that platform. So we've had 1,200 updates in the last 12 months. Obviously, some are little and small and consumer desires and changes and bug fixes, but that's how you build a software company. And in fact, I think we would describe ourselves more as a technology and innovation company. We have a whole new team and energy doing this for the company. They're young, they're diverse, they're energetic. There's a vibe at Comcast like I have never seen in many, many years. So we asked this team to refocus the X1 platform sort of with four goals in mind. Make it faster for consumers to get at the content they want. Make it smarter so they can, it, you know, they don't have to do it over and over again. It learns your preferences. Make it easy. Criticism is too clunky and hard to get around. And make it personalized. And as we look across the whole computer, cloud, web ecosystem, the winners are companies who can integrate across all devices, across all platforms with a common interface and they make it easy and fun to use. Now if you can do all of that and get the smarts out of the box, it gets, allows you to rethink the cable box itself. So we're showing today a box we call XI3 that's our engineering name at the moment. And I have one over here, let me go get it. And this box is four times faster, yet it's three times smaller, and it's half the power consumption than the traditional cable box. And once you can reimagine the cable box, it allows us to then reimagine the remote control. So this is a brand new remote that's coming out. It's got some cool features, less buttons. We're going to show uh, some of the capabilities of this in a second. But as I think toward the future, this can be open architecture. You can have a personalized remote, a family of boxes, a family of remotes. And we're pretty excited to open this up and get innovation around the remote and that experience as well. So all of these steps with this focus we have put together a kind of a new enter entertainment operating system. We call it X2. So it's really the next generation, and it'll be out uh, this year, late in the, uh, the fall, we hope. We'll come to the booth after this demo and play with it. It's up and running, and we're pretty, pretty proud of what, is a, what you're about to see. So here, let's begin. You come home from work and you turn on your TV. And the first thing you'll see is welcome back. The guide has been working for you, even though you've been away. It'll show you what programs you've recorded. It could show you what's on now that it knows or shows you would historically and be interested in. It allows to incorporate a whole bunch of other Comcast Xfinity relationships could be your energy management and how much your smart thermostat has saved in energy. In this case, it's showing you how the box was in sleep mode and how much power uh, it can serve for you. OK, so where you, you want to begin is the home screen. So you go to the home screen. And I hope the first thing you'll notice is this is simple, beautiful, elegant. I'm really proud 
of the work, the design team. We've worked inside the company with wonderful graphic designers, as well as looking all over the world and having some consultants who have everywhere from Silicon Valley to other parts of the world to put together a whole new look, but simple, intuitive. You can go to right one screen and get to anything that matters to you. So let's start where most people would start with guide. Rather than a guide, we now have six guides, six personalized views, and it goes from TV listings to just for kids to movies, sports, and then personalized recommendations. So one of the things that as we even think beyond X2, this section or any of these guide views, there could be your guide that you've created. It could be more than six. It's the beginning, again, of being in the cloud allows you that whole kind of interactivity that we've never seen before. Here's a guide just of what's upcoming that we know you're interested in. So let's go to TV listings. Again, I think beautiful work here by the team. Simple, but a lot of information, but it doesn't feel cluttered. First thing I think you'll take a look at the bottom right for Chronicles of Narnia is Rotten Tomatoes, something that we integrated with a partnership with our open architecture to be able to take their ratings for every movie automatically will come up on the home screen. You don't have to click in and get more information, and you can see whether this is a movie you're interested in watching. If I drop down to Duck Dynasty, uh, you can see at the bottom right a Twitter score, a buzz. This is our partnership with ZBox. This is real time. It changes as you uh, choose different shows based on the buzz and the tweets per hour right now, which is what ZBox does for you. And you can see how hot or not the show is at that moment. You also can go and say, I want to take an action. I can watch, record, or in this case, we've added bookmark. So want to come learn more about it later, let me bookmark it and set that. This is all doable because of our integrated database. OK, so next go to the next guide, which is kids. So kids, we've always wanted a safe place for parents to be able to know this is age appropriate to my child. So here is for two to four year old preschoolers, just, in, just content available. If I say, well, I want to change that just this easily and this elegantly, go to seven to eight year olds, and there are recommendations for kids of seven to eight. Now you'll see at the bottom right here the green seven, which is recommendations from Common Sense Media, which is our partner, one of our partners in giving parents more information. Again, now it's completely integrated right there. Now if you come over a couple clicks, you'll see the common sense is a specific difference for a seven-year-old versus an eight-year-old. I would say if you want, you can lock it onto this guide view and then your kids only have these choices by using a password, but as we all parents know, they'll probably figure out how to get around that before we'll know how to set the password. But it's fabulous integration and the kind of simplicity that I think we've been wanting for years. Okay, let's move on to saved. Everything you're interested in, you've saved. So as we think about um, what happens when you record a show, our statistics show that about 80% of all your DVR viewing occurs within 18 hours of setting the recording. So why not have the first thing to pop up, your recently recorded content? And so that's what we've done here. So it's easy to get right at what you've recorded. Or to go and continue watching something that you stopped. Or go to your bookmarks, and of course there's Duck Dynasty that we just set. So saved has even gotten easier and intuitive and fun to do. Now, On Demand, as everybody here knows, has been a huge priority for Comcast. This is our 10th anniversary of Comcast On Demand. And in those 10 years, we have had 30 billion downloads and orders, 30 billion. We're now up to over 400 million on-demand sessions a month, and the average session lasts for over 30 minutes. And we're up to over closely, close to 40,000 movies and television show choices. 
So how do you get to the content you really want easily and fun and faster with less clicks? So as we start with on demand, the first thing you'll notice is for you. And this can be by household or by user, depending on your settings. For you movies, TV shows, networks, kids, and so on. So if we start in, we'd say, well, here's movies recommended for you based on the movies that you've watched. Here's a specific movie which we'll randomly pick and change. You watched Life of Pi? Here's recommendations if you like that movie. Here's TV dramas that we know are for you. And for the first time, we've easily incorporated web videos. So surprise, it knows I like the Golf Channel. And like golf, there are ways for me to get to be a better golfer if I click in, and I'll do that when we're done. If you move over, you can just pick all movies to search through. Less keystrokes, beautiful. Here's TV shows, networks. One of the things we've noticed with networks is it's, there's so many networks. I've got to go through a hierarchy that can be slow and cumbersome. So why not take the most recent networks that I've watched on demand and make them pop up first, or just by premium, or broadcast, or alphabetical listing. Again, easy to navigate, kind of starting with that that is for you. OK, so while we've been working on making the guide better, we also want to make the remote control experience better and the buttons on the remote. So last year, when we launched X1, we said, well, let's start with the last button Rather than last, let's make it last nine. Well, this has been hugely popular. People use this more than 10 times a day, and it's one of the most popular feedbacks we've gotten. So we've looked at how to make some other buttons valuable. So let's go in to Game of Thrones. And if I pull up the Info button, it allows me to take actions, gives me information on the show, Right there, while I'm watching, again, I think the graphics team's done a fabulous job giving you information with not interrupting your video experience. But if I, we've also observed the binge viewing habits that we all have as consumers now that didn't exist a few years ago. So if we drop down, you know, I don't know about you, but my wife and I, we get lost of where are we. So here's episode six, the little blue check mark lets you know you've seen that episode. Come on over to episode seven, which is what we're watching right now, and the blue line at the bottom shows you you're halfway through. And you may have noticed that in a couple other um, menu screens. All the time, it's letting you know real time. So I know while I'm halfway through, do I want to stay watching, pick up where I left off? Another area that we've been excited to work on that we hadn't worked on before was accessibility. We hired a new team really proud of the work they've done. About 20% of the households of America live with a disability. It's about 60 million people. And so we've really wanted to focus on how to make these products more accessible. So we've taken the C key on the remote, and we've turned it into accessibility. So let me turn that on. Voice navigation enabled. And every keystroke I make will now give you audio feedback. So let's go to main menu on demand, three of five. Press right or left arrow keys to search, four of five. Now if I go to info and want to see a particular show. Now playing, Game of Thrones, The Bear and the Maiden Fair, season three, episode seven, 65 minutes, HBO on demand, voice navigation disabled. And with one click, it turns back off. Really cool and great work and really excited about accessibility as a new category for us and a real differentiator. We spent a lot of time on search. So with X1, we launched T9 Search. And at the time, that seemed really cutting edge. And let me just remind you what that is. If I want to watch AMC, I just go to the keyboard on my remote, and I push 2 for A, 6 for M, 2 for C, and there it would be channel 262. No, I would like to watch AMC, Mad Men, and there we are. Really easy to navigate around. You don't need to know what channel something's on. About 10 years ago, we started talking about voice with search. And we've shown with smartphones that you can 
do it with, uh, with your wireless phone, but we wanted to put it into the remote for a long time. This new remote finally will have, all the remotes will have a voice command. So let's give this a try. Watch burn notice. And then it'll go and switch to burn notice. Now what we've, in our testing, what we found is that the more complicated the search, the more you want to go to voice. Find movies about basketball. And amazingly, it finds just movies. And this is the integrated database, on-demand, TV shows, movies, everything all in one. You can do it by sports teams or just ask a question, what should I watch? Or you can go by an actor. So let's find Don Cheadle. And just like this, there's shows that he's in now. You can look at his credits and all the different programs, 25 they're available now. And excitingly, here's web videos that it will also pull, as I showed, that's all part of this integrated experience. So it's about personalization and about getting you there faster. But we're also excited about openness and apps and customization. So if we come over to the app section, we've improved this quite a bit. So tiles are easily you know, changed in size and moved in and out and personalized by you. So here's weather, which, as we know, hasn't been so great here. We come over and we look at our Facebook feed, if that's what we wanted. This is kind of neat, our Xfinity Home. All of our home automation and energy management can be right there, and you can look there. Here's Pandora, or in fact, um, your video web cameras for your house with our Xfinity Home products are really very popular. And again, you can do this right from your TV with one click on your remote. What's also nice is to add a tile and to make it easy. There's an entertainment section. Again, this will continue to evolve and improve. Here's daily, what's important to your life. Here's home and wellness. So let's say I want to go in and get my up band, which I'm wearing for my athletics. Uh, I got a, there we go. And just like that, you can see I didn't work out this morning. Too busy getting ready. So that's a sneak peek of X2. It's available later this fall. We hope you'll come by the Comcast booth because I didn't have enough time to go through a lot more about the cloud and a lot of other features in the demo um, because we're pleased with how it all integrates. It's part of your future that I think is going to be better than we've ever done before. It's a seamless experience. And what's critical is that we make it work on all devices, back to that original vision. So here it is on a TV, smartphone, tablet, really any IP-connected device. And the whole look and feel is to be easy, personal, smart, fast, fun. And I think we're just scratching the surface. Thank you all very much.